All right, welcome back to the D Lug Golf Channel. We got a good one for you today. This place looks super clean. It is Sky Links Golf Club. Uh, it just looks like every lie is a tight lie. We start off on one, a short par four. Uh, I was just trying to take like a hybrid off the tee, and I chunk pulled it, but it's a short enough hole that it's not going to matter. Got a really nice little lake with a fountain on hole one, and 117 yards in. Comes up a little bit short, but does hop onto the green. From 33 feet, a good effort there, and we'll par number one. Uh, take a look around of sky lengths. We got the purple trees kind of scattered without. We got Southwest Airlines going overhead, uh, and a lot of other, like, just really clean looking rendering stuff that's happening here. I'm considering putting this one in the top courses playlist simply um, for how nice everything looks. Like this would definitely be a club you're probably paying a hundred bucks to play uh, if it was around my area. Uh, just it, it's got the feel of like oh someone really put some thought into this place, not just. You know, flat par four, flat par five, flat par four, three, five, <laughs> like some courses, uh, certainly municipal courses usually just, they don't hit the mark when it comes to like layout and uniqueness. You can see on the mini map, this one does follow similar uh, layout to, you know, it's got to fit in a city block, but it has a lot of good features now. We're going in the water here on three, which not great, but we're gonna have a good chip over the water back up and a chance to save a bogey here. Ooh, major push, not good. All right, double bogey, plus two is not the end of the world. We'll head over to the fourth hole, a 404 yard par four. These are the blue tees. This is definitely an airport. Um, themed course. We got little airliners on the T markers. We see Southwest Airlines and other airlines right overhead uh, quite often here. And I'm not sure where this is at. I guess we can look it up real quick. Oh, no, I don't have it open. I usually have the courses. If you guys don't know, how does that not go in? Seriously? <laughs> so weak. Uh, if you don't know, you can go look up all the courses on GS Pro on the SGT website. Uh, they have a courses tab, and you can look them up by last updated or alphabetical or by designer. Um, it's pretty useful for getting through some of them or looking up your favorite course or your local course. I will tell you, if you live in Iowa and your course isn't on there, I want to speak to you because... There's a couple guys. Life is good, and um, Scott TC maybe they just make Iowa courses. It's like they work for the tourism department or something up there, and uh, there's a ton of courses in Iowa. Not a ton of courses in Oklahoma where I'm at. There's like one um, in Moore that I know about, and I think they made one. Someone needs to make Oak Tree though. That's our famous course up near us, um, or Twin Hills, or the one in Tulsa is pretty famous, the U.S. Open was there not too long ago, so there's some courses they could get out here in Oklahoma that would be fun. Parring the sixth, which really should have been a birdie there, got to get closer, leading us to the seventh, the par four, 396 yards, the driver looks much more stable today. Uh, it looks like a fade instead of like a massive slice on the first couple holes here. So that's exciting. The last one I just commented on uh, and edited was pretty pretty stark with uh, the slicing. About 28 feet here. Down the hill. Right to left. Left it just a little short, but a good effort there cool look at the mountains in the background too this I mean, is this Arizona are we in Tucson or something maybe 
continuing to just play the slice and uh, having pretty good results here. This is a nice wide open course so far. I think um, people of all difficulty levels should not be afraid to play this one. I actually thought I hit that like crap and then it's got this little bend in the green that let it trickle down right towards the hole and we'll go back to plus one as we reach the par three ninth which is 208 yards little chunky it is going to make the green but it's going to be quite a ways away 60 footer and i'm not sure i've hit a 60 foot putt yet and it shows Ooh. And another bad one there to hit another bogey. We'll go back to plus two as we make the turn. Head to a dog leg left par four, 328 yards. I forgot to record 10, 11, and 12, but I birdied, parred, and bogeyed, so a net score of zero. And we head to the 13th now, uh, which is a par three that I didn't even come close to. And then trying to hit like a flopper and didn't really do that very well. And then pushed the putt. So all around bad hole on 13 gets us to plus 3. And we'll head over to 14. 323 yard dog leg left again. Kind of similar to the one on 11. Ugh. Finding the bunker here on 14. Out of the bunker, 90 yards. Dead straight, looks good. Carry looks right. Distance looks right. And somehow making a birdie out of that. 15's a par five. Dog leg left again. It's quite a few dog leg lefts, like we're going in a circle here. That looked good on video, but ends up being a massive slice. I'm still confused. And it's got to be me because I'll hit a shot like that just trying to lay up and it comes off dead straight. So it's not like it's reading everything with crazy um, left to right spin. In fact, a lot of my irons have the opposite. They have uh, right to left spin. So I might have to do like a driver lesson to just figure that out. I am playing in the morning, so probably the next video uh, that's on the channel, I'll let you know how I did. Uh, but me and the guys are going to go out and play 18 tomorrow. There's a helicopter coming in there. That looked like a good shot. Par 3, 16th, 135. And then a good effort there, just a little too high. All right, 17 and 18 coming up. That's it. With those three missed holes, this is going by quick. We got par four 400 that I turned over stupidly. And now we're really far away, 220 yards, which trying to get over that tree. I think that was the goal. And we'll settle in about 56 yards away. Not really a number I love, but gave it a good effort, came up just a little long, and we'll still have this to save par, which would be nice. And it's short. Alright, last hole of the day, we're sitting at plus three. Be nice to birdie it or something. Let's see if we can get to plus two again. 420 yard par four, though, is going to be tough. Um hit about as good of a drive as I could under the circumstances and we'll have 157 I know this is a bad shot though so be prepared and I just rolled the face straight left found the water trying to chicken wing something across the water came up short and then we're there Let's take a look at some stats. We got a 77, we were plus five. Two double bogeys killed us, 11 greens in regulation, though we'll take that any day. 
32 putts too many, blue tees 6,400 yards, Saturday pins. We will see you next time. Peace.